Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a fresh install of Windows 11 without losing any of our data. Right after the intro. Hey, quick reminder folks, remember to hit that thumbs up as it helps others find quality content and allows us to continue to make videos like this for you. Click on subscribe and then hit the bell so you get notified anytime we add new content. Okay everyone, so today what we're going to be doing is a fresh install of Windows 11 a reset if you will. Now true fresh install is going to be where you erase everything on the drive and you completely load Windows 11 over from scratch. In some cases such as a virus or spyware getting on the system that may be the only way you get the system clean and get the system fixed. But the method I'm going to show you today is a good first step in trying to repair the system without losing your data. Obviously, it's going to take you a lot longer to get the system back to where you can be productive if you have to wipe everything out and restore everything. Now, before we start this process, I have another video, which I'll link in the description, that shows you how to do a full backup of your system with freely available software. I highly recommend that you do a full backup of your system before you attempt any of the steps shown in this video. Nothing should go wrong, but there's always a risk whenever you do something like this that something could go wrong. And a full backup will allow you to restore your system back to the way it is so you can try over again. So let's go ahead and we're going to go into our settings. And under our settings, under system over here, we're going to click on recovery. And what we're going to do is reset this PC. And when we choose reset this PC, we've got two options. We can remove everything or we can keep our files. Now this particular option is going to remove all of our apps. It's not going to keep our apps, but it will keep our personal files such as documents, pictures, game saves, music, etc. So we're going to choose the option to keep my files. This is going to ask us how we'd like to reinstall Windows. We can choose to do a cloud download or we can choose to do a local reinstall. Obviously a cloud download is going to download the files and reinstall Windows from the internet and a local reinstall is going to use the data already on your system to do the reinstall. Now if you have corruption and things like that I would say do the cloud download that's going to download all the fresh installation files directly from Microsoft and do the reinstall on your system that's what we're going to do here note that it can use more than four gigabyte of data so you're going to want to make sure that you have enough available space on your system for these files we're going to say next and at this point, it's going to get things ready. And this process can take some time to complete. It's going to depend on both the speed of your device and the speed of your internet connection, since we're doing the cloud reinstall. Now, once we're ready to proceed, it tells us what resetting is going to do. And we can view the apps that are going to be removed. This is useful for reinstalling your apps after you've reset the system. So I recommend that you go to this screen, make note of all the apps that are going to be removed so that you know what you need to reinstall once this is finished. So let's go back. The computer is going to obviously restart and it's going to do the cloud download. So we're going to go ahead and say reset. And at this point it's going to download all the files and perform the reset procedure. Okay, everyone, so here we are back. I'm going to go ahead and log into the system. It will boot the system up just as if I did a reinstall of Windows. Like I said, the only difference here is it's going to retain all of our personal files.
Okay, folks, so here we are back at the desktop. System just booted up. And as you can see, it removed the apps that I had. Like it said it would. But we can see that my files are still here. I have a couple theme files here, and I had some other folders here as well. So this is a good alternative to completely wiping out your system and reloading everything. This is a step below that, allows you to keep all your files, but do a fresh install of the system. Have you done a fresh install of Windows 11 on your system, or have you done a system reset? If so, let us know down in the comments about your experience. As always, folks, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thanks for watching.